Hello everyone, once again welcome back to another session. In this session, we are going to download and install JNSC client in Windows Workstation. So first let us know what is GNSC. GNSC Graphical Network Simulator 3 is a network software emulator. It allows the combination of virtual and real device used to simulate complex networks. First we need to download GNSC and before download and install GNSC client in Windows Workstation we have to know GNS3 main component. GNS3 has two components. First is gonna be GNS3 client and this is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. Second component is going to be GNS3 server and this is usually GNS3 VM. You can install this VM in VMware Workstation Pro VMware Fusion or Player, VMware EXI, Microsoft Hyper-V, Oracle VM. Out of all of these VMs, is recommended is to install in VMware Workstation Pro. In this video, I will show download and install GNS3 client and in next video, we will show how you can install GNS3 server. So let's download GNS3 client, open a browser and browse gns3.com. Here we can see GNS3 download page, so, so click on free download and here need to log in. If you don't have the account, please open an account using your mail. So now let's log in. Here we can see GNS3 for Mac, Windows and Linux. Also we can see for optional performance make sure to also download the GNS3 VM that will show you in details in my next video. So let's download GNS3 client for Windows. We can see download is started. We can see now GNS3 client is downloaded. So let's install it double click on it click on next click agree click on next we can see the components of GNS3 client uncheck the Wireshark component you can install it later and keep all other component default click next and then install We can see shortcut icon came over here GNSC. Now we need to install Win Win Pickup. Click on Next, Agree, and Install. Then Finish. And now in Pickup, click Agree, and then Install. Next, Finish. Solar Wine standard tool set which is don't require click on no next finish we can see the setup wizard server setup in this demonstration I'm not going to set up that I will show in detail in my next video so here I'm click on cancel Here we can see server summary and that is green. This is going to be my local host. If we check the computer that I'm gonna show you, go to CMD and write host name. As we can see my local host name 
it means that GNSC client is successfully installed on my local computer. If there is any issue like if you see something red or yellow that means something happen which mean that GNS3 client is not running properly. In that case restart the local computer and then reopen the GNS client. So here we can see this is green it means that GNS3 client properly running. Remember you must allow GNS3 from your local computer antivirus and also from the firewall so I'm gonna create a basic network click file new blank project I'm gonna name it GNS3 test and then click on OK here I'm going to have Ethernet switch and VPC I'm gonna have duplicate the VPC here we have two PC so now take the cable and here we can see Ethernet 0 in PC and connected to the switch let's connect PC to switch 1 now I'm going to change the symbol of PC click on change symbol we can see it connect to local host click affinity circle blue here I'm gonna select client apply and OK and here I'm gonna change the switch symbol also affinity square blue switch ok and here we are going to text as well IP address of PC1 192.168.1.2 slash 24 and then second PC IP address is going to be 192.168.1.3 slash 24 and I'm gonna show you snap to grid and as well as show the grid so let's uncheck snap to grid and show the grid okay start the PC1 as well as PC2 and then have the console PC1 and PC2 here we can see the font size is small I will change it to little bit big click setting general launch putty we can see the putty configuration click appearance font setting change and the change font size to 20 now we can see font size is change so now let's assign IP address IP 192.168.1.2 slash 24 and then now let's assign IP to PC 2 also IP 192.168.1.3 slash 24 now here we can see the basic network topology which is running without having GNS3 server in my local computer so let's check the connectivity ping 192.168.1.3 and let's check from PC2 also 
pin 192.168.1.2 and we can check the IP address also show IP we can see the IP address that's how you can install GNS3 client in local computer and create basic network topology in my next video I will show the GNS3 server installation in detail thank you so much have a nice day bye bye